Hi, this is Srinivas Tomada. This video is about how to set up a Jenkin build for your Ionic project. So Jenkin will help you to do process automated, like if you want to deploy it or you want to do Android iOS builds and you want to do continuous integration and continuous development. So now everybody is following that instead of applying all the manual steps, you can set up a Jenkin file so that Jenkin will understand and it will run all your stages and if you want you can deploy it into play store ios and if you want you can do it in firebase or heroku but right now i'll not explain everything but i'll just try to do like how to create a stages and then how to install a jenkins so before that like you can try to download the jenkins software from here like choose your operating system and download it but this video is about how to set up in macbook so here are some steps i'm going to post post this article as well so basically you can set up all the stages like you can first it will pull the project and then it go to the ios build android build and apk signing so all these things manual steps we can make it automated and basically i use bitbucket because the bitbucket is giving a private repositories uh, with a free of cost like for 2 gb i guess so I mostly use that. So for Bitbucket, the little process is different. Let, let's discuss in this. So basically, once you downloaded it, and before that, make sure you have to install the Java project, Java SDK. So once you started uh, installing it, it will prompt this kind of window, and then you can continue. And it will ask you to enter the password. So basically it will prompt you the location as well. So go to this location and right click and get info and you'll find the password. Give the read write access. So once you enter the password, so it prompt you to install all the default plugins. Make sure install all these things so that you no need to install it. Go to manage plugins and all. So these are the recommended plugins. Once it got installed and then go to the um, it, it prompts you to create your user details for administrator. So if you want, you can create multiple users. But basically, I'll give admin and some password, whatever you want, and the recovery email. And then you have to set up the port. If you're already using for any other Tomcat project for 8080, change the port here, or else just keep that as well. And then Jenkins project has been set up. So I already installed it. So Basically, it prompt like this. It runs right here, and this is how it looks like. And basically, you can do whatever you want here. Like, if you want to install any extra plugins, go to Manage Jenkins, and you will find the Manage plugins here. If any popular ones, you just find it here and download and install and restart your Jenkins. And so now come to these steps like. Basically, I discussed many articles before, like, you know, Ionic lazy loading and all. If you want, you can start with these projects. Uh, make sure for Ionic, uh, you have to install Ionic and Coda. If it is Angular, Angular CLI or React, anything you can use it. But for why I choose Ionic, because Ionic has a lot of steps, checking with other ones. So, yeah. And... If you see here, uh, basically I am uh, telling to users like uh, so create an Ionic project. Then for Ionic project, basically you need to perform all these steps for building iOS, Android, signing, release. And if you want to host that in a web, you can do it here. Or you want to push it to Heroku or Firebase, do it here. And these things like, like App Store and the Play Store. So these are the basic commands. If you see, I will explain. And this one for signing a APK, I'll explain it a little more in the next post. But right now I'm just giving the command. Uh, so these are the steps. Oh, okay, let's uh, quickly create a small Ionic project. So I'm creating a sample Ionic project, like Ionic start um, Jenkins demo ionic with tabs so it prompt you to you need uh, ios and android yes 
and it will take some time to install all the dependencies yeah if you want to host this into ionic pro and uh, if you want you can do it uh, but right now i'm not going to do so project has been set up now let's go to the project yep this is my, my project uh, because it came up with uh, node modules yeah now uh, let me open this project with my result code yeah now you have to create a sample uh, small jenkins file here you have to write all the uh, stages so you can just simply create like jenkins file there is no extension just a jenkins file and i have a repository as well uh, i don't want to write everything so anyway you can download that file uh, i'll quickly explain i'll copy from there and uh, i'll explain it this is the project you can check out and see this is my jenkin file we call it as a jenkin pipeline this one so i'm copy and pasting it here this is my pipeline so the pipeline it starts with like it's kind of a json kind of thing and here you have to set up your environment if you are using a windows user change the path where exactly your node uh, js is located and for the for the macbook i think you can this is the base location then you can write multiple stages like this you can repeat how many you want say if i see the stage i'm giving a npm install i mean npm setup is npm install the next stage build the ios and the android and the sign uh, because right now i'm not going to do i don't have a keys maybe i'll explain it later if you don't want just for the demo i'm just giving the echo and if it is a prod just a production build and if it is a firebase deploy and all other steps you can do and and now they came up with the npm uh, scripts as well if you want you can write uh, like instead of uh, keeping everything here you can just write a script like for example yeah apk sign paste everything here this is the base command so instead of that like you can use directly like this sh this is a shell command so npm run and apk sign so this is the best option you can keep all these things here and then you can perform it like instead of this you can keep all these things like npm run android you can copy that and create a reference here so or some people try to do with a gulp but maybe if we need it i'll explain it uh, next time maybe next post so i just created this so this project basically it run it like hope uh, we can run if you want I next so yeah this is a simple project like you can launch it if you want but yeah back to the jenkin dashboard this is my jenkin running at local so whenever you want to do just go and uh, try to create a new item and now this is ionic jenkins name and you have to choose multi branch pipeline if you are working with a bit bucket install a plugin and do it with the bitbucket multi branch but this is by default it will come with the recommended plugins so i'm selecting this and okay what is multi branch is like if you have a multiple branches like master dev or feature all these things it will pull out automatically so you no need to do anything so if you want you can write some display name and description these are the optional and now the most important thing is here and the same way uh, right now i'm explaining for github git is different like you know bitbucket also using git but github is you're pointing to the main github website so choose the github and basically you have to add the credentials basically these are it will prompt you two things this is for item level and this is the main jenkin admin level better add it here just click it and set your uh, the github username and password the website username and password yeah so i already set up so i'm just choosing my github username and password then you have to specify the github username 
So this is my user, I mean the owner name. So I'm just once I specify it and it will take some time and it will pull all the repositories, whatever I have and my get. Let me show you. So all the 38 repositories, it will come here. So now I'm just pointing to my Ionic uh, Jenkins project. So I'm just selecting that up and all these things we'll explain it later. And then it will prompt you, yeah, by Jenkins, you want to build this with the Jenkins, yes. And if you have a script path, this is a Jenkins file. If you have any specific different name, Jenkins, if you want to give Jenkins build file name or something, whatever you want, then you can change it here. If you have anything like some people keep a folder like a build and then they'll move it. So then you can just change the path here. So right now I'm not touching anything and then apply and save. And basically it will scan everything and it will give you the success thing. And if you have any multiple branches like dev or feature everything, it will uh, pull it up here. Once it got done, uh, see we have a master branch. It's a build already started running. If it is not running, you can hit the build now button. See all the steps is going to perform now. And I'll show you my, uh, basically like, the Jenkins location will be uh, mostly on the users and uh, share drive. And this is the Jenkins and then home. And you will have the workspace and the workspace like, so this is what the Jenkins build workspace whatever steps happening, see it pulled all the code and then the NPM setup has been done uh, and it's pulling all the libraries here. All the build process will happen in this location. See, if you see that package got locked happen, if you see that it moved to the next step maybe, yes. Now the ionic build is happening. Basically ionic build is this, this stage, I mean, this command has been executed right now and if you see in the platforms prof folder has been created and the ios folder will create so basically like you know we automated everything so that way you can see all the steps i'll just show you my uh, bitbucket one so this is my wall the upcoming project is coming up so basically i build everything uh, with uh, Jenkins. Uh, we can do many things like, you know, whenever you push commits and it automatically triggers the builds. So that way you no need to come to the Jenkins and hit it. Or you can set up a build server somewhere and you can run all your builds automatically and try to integrate. In this multi-branch, like you can do multiple things. Like if you want to release some of your project, whenever you move, dev code to master like merge happen that that time also you can trigger the builds so that way the actual working code it will go to the production so and every level you can see the logs so what is exactly happen if anything wrong uh, if you see my master build uh, if anything wrong see here something wrong with the stages if anything wrong it will specify you so that's the advantage and you can track all of this and maybe make sure uh, uh, check all your permissions and uh, workspace should be the and home workspace should be the read write access for everyone. Uh, you can go here and you can unlock this and give your uh, uh, the system admin password and then you can make this to read and write so that the Jenkins can access this folder uh, like you can you will not get any permission issues so if you see the platforms see the iOS has been created then you can open this and you can build it with Xcode so that I already explained in my previous videos and you can watch my yeah the MS Ionic lazy loading you can see all the like how we can do with Xcode debugging everything yeah, that's it. And try to use the Bitbucket. So Bitbucket has a SSH option as well. So 
and it has 2 GB of uh, free space instead of keeping outside your core you can keep it as private repositories and there are some you can create some SSH keys here there are some documentation is available here the same keys you can add it in the like you know Jenkins and the credentials and you can add those credentials and see I added some Bitbucket credentials yeah you can like it's it's pretty simple so let me know if you have any issues so that's it let's see what is happening here yeah so this will take some time yeah you can see what what is happening here like what step it is yep this way you can see the all the steps so look at the folder now go back and see the android has been created i think after that like you know we ignored many things like I just echo so and and if you want to publish some of your test results to the sonar or something like you can write stages here like if you are using a slack for a communication like you can send a notification as well yeah like you know the bill has been successful anything if it is wrong you can send a notification to slack like there are so many like third party APIs are available uh, try to explore the plugins so yeah so most of the things are echoes so that's what this is how you can run all the things maybe I'll explain like how to publish it in app store and all in an automated process and firewise deployment also I explained it you can just see my upcoming post I gave I specified some links here how you can deploy everything Yep. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for watching.